Will the angels not enter my home if I have pictures in it? So what makes this issue complicated is that the word taswir had a very specific connotation in the time of the Prophet It referred to sculpting and it referred to uh, drawing full figures and, uh, and, and weaving or sewing full figures. So photography doesn't really have a full equivalence and it goes to the ruling of photography as a whole. Is photography, which is the capturing of a reflection or light, is it the same as drawing something in its totality and hanging that up or giving it an honorable place um, uh, somewhere in, in a home or elsewhere? And the majority of scholars will say, no, it's not the same thing. Uh, there are some elements, there's some lessons we can take from that, which is, for example, if you were to place a picture, if you were to blow a picture of, of, of a human being up and put it in a, in a, in a, in a place in your home where uh, it's given a little bit too much in terms of sanctity, then it could be serving a similar function to that, and so we should avoid that. But having pictures in the home, as in photography, is permissible, inshallah ta'ala, and it does not um, invalidate anything and it does not remove the, the blessings of a home. But again, a person should just be careful not to place them in a place uh, that it would give it too much honor and sanctity uh, to where it would it would serve the purpose of a sculpture or something else that was that, that is analogous to what the Prophet ﷺ was speaking about in the prohibition of taswir Allah ta'ala. Subscribe to this channel, share this video, and click on the bell icon so that you can be notified with every new video at Faith IQ. Jazakumullah khairan wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.